What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60, he's just going to break bad? Wow. What a difference a couple of weeks make. Man, it was just all good just a week ago for keeping it 100 when she got with controversial company Super Eagle. But <laughs> as we all know today, what happened with, uh, with the situation, here's just a flashback of how happy she was when she was getting with the company. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back, back into time. I'm at the new company that I plan to, you know, do business with. And what I wanted to tell you guys is whenever you get hired at a new company, you got different ways that you can get to the company. If you are going in as a company driver, they will pay your way either by flight, Greyhound, or car rental. If you're a lease driver, some companies will still pay for your transportation and even hotel. But some places, like it's different kind of lease programs, it's different kind of owner operator stuff. But if you're going in, as a real owner operator you are responsible for everything like this this rental i got right here they ain't paid for this none of it this came out of my pocket <laughs> jeez even if you're going in as a company driver some place some some places won't even uh won't won't even pay for you to get up there that's one of the questions that you new guys should always ask. Like, how am I going to get there? You know, especially you drivers that's coming in that's up under financial hardship. You know, y'all just blindly go in there thinking that the company is responsible for your transportation, for your hotel, for your meals. And some of them, you know, they offer that. You know, some companies offer that, you know, as far as your meals go, some companies go as far as just to do breakfast and lunch. And then the dinner is on you, you know, and there's a there's a few, a handful that would give you a voucher to, you know, go and get dinner somewhere. Of course, uh, these companies have uh, accounts with hotels where they will set you up at and then there's places that only had that that got their own uh hotel slash bunk area where they'll put you at now as she, what she said as far as these companies out here that won't get you up there you know either by plane train or automobile they they reserve the right to choose what type of transportation they're going to get you up there me personally i would suggest either rental car if you're you know if you want to drive yourself or plane if you want to get there quicker now greyhound i'm not a fan of greyhound uh you know mm -mm. I'm good. I'm not going to take a a a a, a 15-hour road trip from Ohio down to Texas on a Greyhound. No, bro. You you need to put me on a plane. Now, some companies will reimburse you, but some companies might like to be cheap too. So if you tell them like, "Hey, bro, you know, I want to be on the plane." Oh, yeah, we'll reimburse you, but we're going to only reimburse you the price of a bus ticket. How much is that? Oh, that'll be up about like two hundred dollars, and the and the flight is like three. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know. And as far as the car rental, you know, the car rental, I'm 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 all for that. But I understand a lot of you guys don't have the financials to rent a car because they want you to have a credit card and some money on that credit card in order to rent the car so make sure when you guys ask to you know how you're going to get me there 
make sure you ask them, is it going to be plane, train, or automobile? And if you choose to, if they choose to put you on a, on a bus, find out what's the reimbursement if you decide to drive. And you see all this stuff? I could have caught a plane, which would have been shorter. I would have got here quicker, but then I wouldn't have been able to bring. Like, all this stuff is just about everything I need to put on my truck. So that way, whenever I get my truck, I can hit the road running. If I don't want to go back home for a month, I don't have to because I basically brought that whole house with me, bro. So you got to decide what you want to do. You want to decide if you want to be a company driver. You got to decide if you want to lease your truck. You got to just, it's decisions. So if you decide to be an owner operator, just be prepared to spend money. You might have to spend money for a hotel. You would have to spend money for car rental, gas, food, and everything. It's not gonna always be easy when you take that leap into owner operator status. But once you get going and get in the groove of things and things start to kind of fit in with you, if you do it right, and you not pussyfooting around, you won't regret it. So. Send me the fuck home so I can take my shit off y'all motherfucking raggedy ass truck and take y'all y'all truck back. To uh, keep it at 100, always finding new opportunities. <laughs> and I do mean always. Always. So now she's... Um, at a new company. I'm, I'm sure she's letting you guys know where she at this time. <laughs> Hopefully this time is the charm, but uh, I guess we will see throughout her TikToks. Nope, nope, didn't happen. Nope, it was all good just a week ago. <laughs> Getting up there, packing the whole kitchen and the house and everything. See, that's something that you guys should not do. All right. Never get comfortable on a truck, especially when it's a new company that you're going with. Never get comfortable on a truck. As I said before, take the essentials. Go bag, hygiene bag, book bag, or backpack. That's all you need. You don't need all that stuff. I don't understand why she brought all that stuff with her. You don't need all of that because you're not even sure how long you're going to be with the company. As we already found out that it was not long at all. And unfortunately, her time with the controversial company Super Ego has came to an abrupt end so hopefully you know during the holiday season she's able to you know kind of you know regroup and uh hopefully going into the new year she'll be fresh and open-minded or i'm sorry clear-minded to the next trucking adventure that she will get into all right so let's continue with this edit Anyway, uh, I do want to tip back on the part where she says she brought the whole uh, house with her. Uh, I, I'm going to agree to disagree with, with her on that part right there, especially when you're going to a new company because you're not sure how that company is going to treat you. So whether you're an owner-operator that has your own truck, which means your own truck. You're not going to be a owner operator slash glorified company driver by leasing their trucks to, you know, to purchase. But if you're a company driver, I, I, I always say pack light, pack light. You don't, you don't have to bring the whole house with you. You really don't. You don't have to bring the whole house with you because when you get in that truck, that situation with that trucking company, 
may be good and then it may be bad. And if it's bad and you had to end up getting up out that truck quick, fast, in a hurry, you got the whole house to pack up and you don't need and you don't need all of that. You don't need all of that. All you need is the essentials to hold you through for the first couple of months. If if that's all you need, that if that's all you need to know if that company is going to be the one. And then if that company is going to be the one, then I guess you could be comfortable. But I always say don't get comfortable when you first get with the company because there's always, always something that would happen that would make you decide, huh, this company is not for me. Send me the fuck home so I can take my shit off y'all motherfucking raggedy ass truck and take y'all y'all truck back. Got it locked. Boy. Want you to let me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah.